Hi everybody, it's Rabbit, and welcome back to more Guardians Crusade, where we left off in our previous episode, we ended up doing a little bit more backtracking, but specifically we went to the towns of Zed Harbor, as well as Triskin, and we saw that related to Carmine, I guess, turning all of his Artima followers into gargoyles, basically both of those cities were kind of under siege by a bunch of weird gargoyle monsters and odd leaders. So we fought the ringleader of the Zed Harbor raid. His name was Bosme and he was a weird pig thing. We took him down pretty easily and then the one who was here was a sorcerer named Org and we fucked his shit up as well. So yeah, we just spoke with the king and received a new living toy called Generosity. And now we are quickly going to check up on Ramal and Kalkanora, who look really battered and bruised. The pain. Carmine has all the stones. We must stop him from unsealing. Jeez, well, those two look really, really rough. But, you know, they did what they could. So it is understandable. But okay, we do still have one last eensy weensy teeny tiny little hit stop before we go ahead and begin collecting the holy armor. I'm sure you guys are like, holy shit, can we please just get to that already? And let me quickly talk to bitch tits over here. Lord Kalkanor and Ramal are resting upstairs. Yes, I know, I just spoke with them. So, the final stop before we actually get down to business, we are going to head over to... This place is called Garam. I don't know why I was having a hard time deciphering whether it was, or determining rather, whether it was um, Garam or Carmarthen. I'm still having a hard time fucking remembering the name Carmarthen, and I shouldn't, because I like that name a lot. And I'm not fucking walking to Garam. We are going to fly there. Because we are fly, and if Baby has this ability, we are gonna fucking use it, because Baby has just kind of been a dead weight for us for a while, so we're gonna take advantage of this. And Am I going the right way? <laughs> I hope so. I think it's this way. Yes, it is. Okay, because there's the gate. And I don't remember exactly where. There it is. And I figured, why not let you guys just enjoy the very, <laughs> almost like bubblegum poppy music as we're enjoying this beautiful ride atop baby. I still think it's interesting because Baby seems pretty small, so I don't know how he can successfully support the weight of Knight. Because it's not just scrawny-ass Knight, you know, he's wearing fucking armor. But you know what, that's okay. I try not to wrap my head too much around video game physics and logic. I mean, you'll never get anywhere if you try to understand everything. But okay. We are here in Garum. And I believe this is it as far as the towns that are being fucked over by the Artima peoples. So yeah, let me talk to this guy. What's going on with you? After all that work I put into clearing the North Road, now I have to worry about that big worm up there. Do you know what's going to happen if that worm lands on the village? What is he talking about? It won't be pretty. Think of the damage it will cause. Forget cleaning up. We'll have to rebuild the village if there's anyone left alive. Is he talking about Shizan? I would hardly call Shizan a fucking worm, but... Okay, there should be an Artima church. I don't know where it is. I don't remember where it is, but I know there's one here, and I know we have to find it. Uh, yes, this is it. Artima believers only. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> so he's like wheezing and snorting and growling. Did you hear that? There's somebody in there. Remember when Marco was kidnapped in Istin by the cult? Let's check it out. Yeah, we took down their bitch asses in Istin. So, okay. Bitch, I see you over here. Hey! Hey, nothing. How did you get in here? I used the fucking front door. You should try locking it. Only believers are allowed in this building. Sorry, we heard a strange sound. Well, don't go around sneaking up on people. I was just about to finish mutating, but you scared me. <laughs> what? Really, no, honey, you haven't pieced it together. All of the Artima followers are crazy, and I mean, it's very unfortunate. Fuck, I didn't sleep anywhere, but that's okay, because these gargoyles are pieces of shit. So we're going to kill this thing, and then we are done, and we're ready to start collecting all of the holy armor, which kind of follows up with what I was saying at the start of today's recording session, that we're almost done with this game. I mean, the game is not much longer than 20 hours. 
So, and, and that's if you really stretch it, you may max get this game to last 25 hours. But it's really not very long at all. So, okay, let's check this thing out. Clap, clap, clap. Are we clapping to get the gods' attention? Yeah, I guess, I guess we fucking are. Okay, well, let's explore and just see what's in here. Oh, very interesting. So we got a new living toy, Championo. Let's make sure there is nothing left in here for us. I don't think there is. I think that's it. We checked this thing. Someone, probably a believer, has left an offering of spinach. I wouldn't take that if I were you. Whatever, we'll take it. Uh, the distinction between knight and thief blurs? Are you serious? <laughs> Why? That's terrible. Why would Why would they say that? We fucking... We're fucking saving the world. I can't take a spinach snack that was being sacrificed to evil ass Carmine without this world deeming me a thief. Okay, that's kind of fucked up. But anyway, Championo, let me not get distracted, uses half of your psychic points to punch away. I don't remember this living toy. I'm not going to pretend to remember this living toy. So this will be one that I guess I will even gain a little bit more of a clear understanding of when we... I guess, um, use our little, uh, expo. Yeah, or do our little expo, rather. It's not really much to use. We will use our living toys at the expo. So, okay. We're done. We got Championo. I am, I've got to sleep at an inn. I just, I must. Here it is. The Hotel Motel Holiday Inn. And then, with this out of the way, I have to go back to Jungo so that I can get my... Last bit, oh, it's a little cramped up there, but I keep, yeah, yeah, you told us this before. I have to go to Jungo to get my last bit of platinum armor, and then I guess we'll start in purple. Uh, basically, the book told us that the locations of the holy armor of Darwin, they are in purple, in denim, in Castle Ryan, and then in a place to the north that's really frosty and cold so we know where everything is now it's just a matter of let's go to all of those respective places and I'm not sure how many of them will get done today because I want to leave some footage for our next session because there's no way I'm finishing the game today I have too much shit that I still want to get done in my actual apartment today so yeah anyway I won't go on about that let me exit and pull up my map with you guys just so that I can kind of get a clear understand. Oh my god, except I'm running over to where Anne and Ruval were. And I still don't understand why everyone was acting like Ruval was dead. He was not dead. He was still going raw, so I maintain that he's okay. I'm just going to tell myself that he's okay. So yeah, all right guys, I will meet you in oh god damn it. Purple is like so far away. But I'll meet you over there in purple and I will showcase the new armor that I have from Bonic. So I'll see you in just a sec. Alrighty guys and welcome back. So I also realized while I was making this very long trip over here to purple that I don't have enough fucking money to get the last little bit of platinum armor. So we'll have to come back or I'll have to come back and do that later. And then the other thing that I want to make sure that I had mentioned to you guys before I forgot is that when you're looking at the map, the blue dots and the red dots that are now there, I didn't talk about. And I'm sure maybe some of you have pieced it together already just based upon how I have been traveling and structuring my plans for trips. The blue dots are the different warp gates or where the warp gates lead you to when you're in the actual center warp unit, however you want to describe that. And then the different red dots are basically showing us where the armor is that was described in the book that we read in Picard. So I just wanted to mention that because I've been pretty lazy about telling you guys everything. So I wanted to make sure that was understood. So that's why I am here. We're going to go up here. And the reason why I chose Kerpel first, it's not that there's anything special about coming here, but it's going to be the easiest one to get to. I kind of showcased this way back when we first came here and fought Uganga. We went past where he was, and there was like a little spot that had a light warp or like a light warp gate, if you will. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's like a little teleport thing but it's like a beam of light coming out of the ground and we tried to enter it and we could not so yeah I mean I'm sure you guys at that time are like she's probably gonna have to return here for something and if you did think that you were correct because 
this is what we're here for, to get some holy armor. And I don't remember which piece of armor is here. All I know is that we are supposed to be here, so. One other thing to mention, just because I don't know if you guys have had the opportunity to see it while I've been flying on Baby, because I don't think you guys have watched me fly too much. But basically, if you're flying, you can sometimes see some really cool things just in the water. For example, I saw a couple of sunken ships, and I mean, I can't land on them or do anything with them, but they're there, and I just thought it was worth pointing out that the developers did think to add in a couple little interesting things like that. But all right, here we are. And the warp gate key flashes brightly, and I don't know why they felt the need to put that in all caps, but okay. We are here. Let us see if we can get this armor and go about our business because we have three other places to hit up after this. So the guardian says, he who would possess must be worthy. Are you a greater warrior than the holy warrior Darwin? Well, I don't know, but Darwin's dead. So, you know, you might as well just give it to me if I'm making the effort to come here and save this fucking world. But okay. I'm not dealing with any bullshit. I don't remember how tough this thing is. So I'm going to start off with tough on baby we're gonna get out contributor and I'll see which other living toy I want to pull out cuz yeah I can't I can't have this thing fucking up baby that is just not cool all right uh no that's not going to work uh, you know what we can use cheer girl too but let me get contributor out first oh, God. all of my monies guys all of it gone. I was so distraught when I got to Jungo and then I don't I don't know like I just opened my my screen or not my screen you guys know what I'm talking about the status menu and I saw my rubies and I was like are you fucking kidding me I flew over here and I can't even go oops why am I doing you I want to do chair girl yeah we'll do it on night uh, anyway, I was like, I flew all the way fucking over here and I can't even afford my last bit of platinum armor. I was not happy. <laughs> Tell me that is not fucking adorable slash hilarious. I find that relatively entertaining. That she legitimately was a cheerleader. Oh no, what are you doing? Would you cut this shit out, please? Okay. And let's get out... Uh, oh gosh, guys, I don't know. Let's try. Offer a surprise gift if you want. You know what? Fuck it. Let's get out generosity. Even though I'll say, this doesn't look like that generous of a, of a living toy. It just looks kind of like a weird Pokeball to me. But I don't think this... Oh, god damn it. I hope he doesn't... Okay, you better not attack generosity because that's not cool. All right, let me actually attack him. And Tough Wall shouldn't be out for too much longer. And I don't have room to actually call out another living toy, but with my recently stolen spinach snack, I'm not too concerned about it. Which still bothers me that they were like, oh, the line between knight and thief is now blurred. It's like, fuck you. Yeah, what's my bonus? Bonus rubies. All right, cool. Thanks, generosity. It's very generous of you, I must say. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Lots of money. I wonder if this was the tipping point, guys, and now I can fucking afford my shit. But we got an item, the Holy Helmet, and it's pretty cool. I think it's in... Oh, actually, will it let us equip it now? Ah, uh, no, legendary helmet, but it's not good for us. So, I guess it is for Dark Beat after all, which is kind of shit, but anyway, let's go ahead and use whoever takes us outside. Okay, well, I guess we can't do that from here. But alright guys, that's one piece of holy armor down, three to go, and I think Castle Ryan, just off the top of my head, is the closest place to where we are right now, so that might be our next stop. You know what, let's use Miner really fast too. Down, 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 down. See if we can. No, I want money, and I want it now. Oh, yay! <laughs> a little under 400 rubies. That's not gonna make that big of a difference, but we'll take it. And actually, we're not there yet, guys. We're so close to being able to afford that last bit of platinum armor, but alas, we are not quite there yet. So let's go back. We'll sleep here, safe here, and then 
we'll head to Castle Ryan and then we'll call it a video. And once we're on the next episode, we'll actually go about exploring Castle Ryan. Or, well, before I even say that, Paleface, you want rest here. Yes, thank you. I still can't believe you guys are calling me Paleface. I fucking liberated your entire village and you guys are dressing me in such a horrendous way. This is not acceptable. All right, but we're 14 hours in. Yeah, I would say we've got about five to eight hours of gameplay left, if that. We're kind of blazing through everything a little bit more quickly than I wanted us to. Well, what can I say? I had my shit together, and I didn't have like three, four hours of filler overall of me being lost in places. So that has been immensely helpful. Okay, let me look very quickly at Mopsta, just to make sure. Yeah, Castle Ryan is the one directly above us. And then after Castle Ryan, Hmm, I think we can go a little bit more north, and that's Denim, and then all the way in that weird uh, northeast little icy area, that's where the last bit of armor will be. So I, I think that's the order we'll go in. We'll just kind of go up and then over to the right. So without further ado, I'm going to hop on, baby, and I will bring you guys back when I'm at Castle Ryan. And Well, it'll be on the next episode anyway, so I'll see you guys on the next episode of Guardians Crusade. Thank you for watching. I'm your host, Rabbit. Be right back, my friends.